Hello everyone, it's Tom Voyage here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be cooking on this Unikaru 16. I've owned this oven for over six months now, so I thought it was a good time to do a six month in-depth review. We're gonna cover the things I really like about the oven and the things that perhaps I would change as well. So let's get started. So if you don't already know, the Uni Karoo 16 is Uni's largest multi-fuel oven. You can get this in a 16 or a 12, that relates to the pizza size you can cook on it. And this is the larger one of the two. So it's one of Uni's highest price ovens. If you want to check the price, you can check it in the link in the description below. And if you wanted to buy the oven, you can use that link as well. It doesn't cost you any more money, but it helps me out with the commission so I can carry on making these kind of videos in the future. So the first thing to mention, which I really like about this oven, is the overall size. The stone inside the oven is 45 centimeters by 45 centimeters, and it offers a massive cooking area able to cook a 16 inch pizza. What's more is you can see the height of this oven. The height's important because that's gonna allow us to cook other dishes. You can cook things like fish dishes in there, you can do steaks, you can do chicken, and even cook bread in it as well. Now we're cooking on gas today, but this oven comes with a fire basket for cooking on wood and charcoal. And as you can see, it's absolutely enormous. This is another good feature because you can load this up with charcoal and get longer cooks from it. Now that brings us on to our next point. This is the versatility or the flexibility of this cooker. Now being a dual fuel oven, that means that you can cook on it using wood and charcoal, but you can also cook on it using gas. Now, to cook on it using gas, you do need to buy the gas attachment from Uni, but having that flexibility of gas means it's really, really easy to get set up. You literally just plug it in, turn it on, and wait for it to heat up. The other benefit of gas is it's a lot less mess. So you're not gonna deal with ash, you're not gonna deal with fluctuating cooking temperatures, it's literally plug it in and play. If you did choose to cook on wood or charcoal using this oven, you are gonna benefit from that traditional wood-fired taste on your pizzas though and usually cooking on wood is my favorite. So point number three is the style of this oven. I think it's one of Uni's best looking ovens. It comes in this stainless steel color around the front and it's got a kind of anodized black uh, paint finish on the side. This is great because it's weather sealed, it's not gonna tarnish in the weather and the stainless steel is nice and easy to clean. I mean, just look at this thing. It looks great in your garden. It's a great addition and it's a good centerpiece as well. And believe me, it's a talking point. As soon as people come around, they're always asking about the pizza ovens and usually want pizza cooking on it too. So point number four I like about this oven is the technology. Now, Uni is one of those companies where they obviously put a lot of money into research and development and it's clear with this oven. So first of all, one of the features that I love is this thermometer here. Now this doesn't measure the stone temperature, it measures the overall oven temperature. This comes in really handy if you're cooking things other than pizza. Like already, we can check whereabouts we are and estimate how long it's gonna be before it's fully up to temperature. This Uni also comes with view flame technology, which is this window here. It's the first of all the Unis where you can have the door closed but still look at what you're cooking inside. The door is also on a hinge rather than loose. Now, it's only a small thing, but what I used to find is when you take the door off the other unis, you're looking for somewhere to put it. And if you put it on a plastic table, it's gonna melt because it gets red hot. So that's a nice little feature too. As you can see around here, if you were cooking on wood and charcoal, this is where you would add your fuel. It's a really big open gap here and it's gonna allow you to get big chunks of charcoal and nice big logs in there to help you cook your wood-fired pizza. So it's a great addition. This oven is also really, really easy to use. Now we spoke a bit before about the gas being the easiest option, which it still remains. Yes, you have to buy the additional attachment for the gas, but it's still a good alternative to cooking on wood and charcoal. Now speaking about ease of use, even if you do choose to cook on wood or charcoal, the control that this oven gives you is really good. Now the design of the airflow is great. The air comes in the back here, over the top of the pizza and out through this chimney stack, but also, You've got a dampener on the edge of the chimney and some adjustments in the top here. 
This is going to help you dial in those temperatures. You can open it up for maximum airflow if you want a super hot fire for cooking a pizza, or you can dampen it down a little bit if you're cooking something like a chicken or a steak that maybe takes a little bit longer at a lower temperature. And finally, this oven has won an award as well. It's recommended for domestic use by the AVPN. Now the AVPN is based in Italy and translated, it stands for the True Neapolitan Pizza Association. So top marks from them guys as well. So as you could tell, I really, really like this oven. However, it's not the perfect oven. There are still some downsides to cooking on this oven. Now the first downside is the portability. We mentioned before about the size of this oven, but overall it weighs just shy of 30 kilograms. It's a heavy beast. I can just lift it on my own, but it's easier with two people. If maybe you're a smaller frame person, you're gonna struggle moving this around. Also, when packing it down, these legs fold in. Now they're only short legs, but what you also have to do is remove this thermometer, otherwise that hits the floor. It just seems like if there was a way that that folded up or there was another mechanism that made it a little bit easier to pack away, that would have made more sense. Now, this screen with the view flame technology is really, really good. However, there has been a couple of times when I've cooked on wood and the fire hasn't got hot enough quick enough. This has caused a lot of soot and ash and made this screen go completely black. It's fine, it's not a big deal because it does clean off again, but it's just something to consider if you are gonna plan on using wood on this oven. Okay, sure, I know what you're gonna say, that's probably down to user error, and yes it is, I hold my hands up, but it's worth mentioning in this video. So another limiting factor with this oven is the overall cost. It's a real investment. At the time of purchasing this, I think I paid about £699 for it, and then it was an additional 70 or £80 for the gas attachment. It's a lot of money to be spending on a pizza oven, so you have to be sure it's right for you. So to summarize, I really, really love cooking on the Uni Karoo 16. I've not just cooked pizzas on it, we've used this for steaks, we've used this for bread, we've used it for fajitas. It's really fun learning all the new things that you can cook on this oven. Because I review these ovens, I've got about four Uni ovens at the minute, and this one is always my go-to. I think it looks the best, I, I like the way it cooks, and I really like the features that come on it. If, however, you are put off by that high price tag, don't think that this is the only one that cooks good pizzas. All the uni range are really capable of doing really good pizzas. And sometimes, if you're a beginner, they're the best place to start because you can get an oven that'll cook just as good pizza for about half the cost. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to give me a like and subscribe. I'm really, really grateful for all the support you guys give me. And if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm really keen on replying to everyone who makes a comment and I like talking to you guys as well. So thanks very much guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please join us again next time for more pizza making videos.